Happy August 24th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy stopped a very angry, rampaging giant beetle in its tracks with an intimidating glare and a menacing how do you do. We have caught up to the insect thieves who were dismantling and absconding with bits of the mushroom buildings from Longwatch, and now. We stand among the wreckage of that high-speed wagon chase. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. As the chaos subsides, a moment of relative calm grants you the opportunity to assess the surroundings and question the surviving insects. We're going to do two things in order. Search the area, reminder investigator, and uh, two, question the insect. Charisma check, uh, reminder intimidating. I, and there is a hidden icon on this page. It's been a while. So um, this is the backpack. Let's see what we find amongst the wreckage. Uh, that's the equipment page in the front of the book. Why is it so hard to find? There we go. Backpack. Uh, we're going to roll a D10, and we find a warding ointment. I don't think we have any warding ointments, so that's excellent. Warding ointment. Oh, we do have one. <laughs> now we have two. Um, that adds a plus two to defense. Consumed on use adds a plus two. Okay, that's not erasing very well. Two. All right. Back to the tasks at hand. Here we go. Search the area. Reminder investigator. We are not an investigator, but uh, we have Brindle, who is. So let's see what we get here. Intellect. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one is six. Um, hmm. The we would need uh, three more points for the middle result. So can we get? Let's see if Brindle can help us. Uh, beyond that, we have a foresight flower we could use, and and why not? So let's see what Brindle can do. Um, Brindle, Brindle, Brindle. Here we are. Investigator, we just need a club or a spade, Brindle, to give us a plus two to this roll. And it's a joker, and it is, I well, with these cards, I can't tell. I think this is the black joker. So, uh, I think that counts. And I don't think it counts as a face card. So, I'm gonna give that to us. So we've got plus two. We need one more point. So we have to use the foresight flower anyway. That's going to add a d4. And um, Ivy has solar infusion, which will add one to this roll. So we are currently up to, what do we get? Six, seven, eight. Um, can we get the best result? No. No, it doesn't matter what we get here. Four, five. 13. Uh, we're still three shy of the best result. So this is the middle result. Uh, you find three amber worth of valuable supplies. On the body of a dead insect, you retrieve a nicely crafted insect dagger with a pommel made of amber. It is worth two amber. So I think we can just count that as five amber. So we write down the dagger. I, I think we're just counting this as 5 amber, so we're up to 20 amber. Because there, there hasn't been a mechanism to, like, loot uh, gear and sell it. You mainly just buy stuff at markets. So, okay, well that is what we have found. Uh, two, question the insect. Charisma roll, reminder intimidating. We are, Ivy is intimidating. So, oh, geez, five plus two is seven, plus two intimidating is nine. Um, if your virtue is very low, you can gain a bonus. 
uh, but ours is high. So I uh, I beg to differ about their use of about their association with an intimidation and uh, low virtue. But um, that's the way they wrote the game. So um, let's see, what did we get? Nine. That's the middle result squarely in the middle result. So we're not. We're not going to do any better here. We, uh, the insect, I think, is speaking. He says, we have orders from the true king, King Rathex. In what world do you think I would ever divulge secrets to you? Okay, and now we have, uh, we have some more stuff here. The insect is badly injured. Perhaps if you showed some mercy and fed it a healing potion, it might be willing to speak. Do you give it a healing potion? Well, we don't have a healing potion. Ivy does have healing light, and that works on party members, so I think uh, I'm going to give that, I'm going to let her do that, too. Um, I'm going to say, yes, we do give her a healing potion, and we're going to mark off a healing light. We can only use those once per rest. We have two casts of it, and that's a, that's a, that's a pretty decent sacrifice for Ivy, because her health is not great right now and I've been holding on to those so we'll use it to help the bug and this does feel like a virtuous act uh, love your enemies so let's see if yes you pour the potion uh, into the insects mandibles we're gonna say um, we cast healing light on the insect oh gain one virtue you have another chance to get information from the creature roll charisma reminder persuasive we are not persuasive but we do gain one virtue so ivy goes up to six virtue and we get to make another roll okay um Gain one virtue. Uh, if your virtue is more than six, gain more than six. So we're not more than six. We are six. So gain a plus two bonus. So we're doing a charisma roll with a plus two bonus. And we already have plus two. So we're going to roll this and add four. <laughs> I rolled it. Okay, you're retired, green die. <laughs> uh, and let's see. Uh, I don't even remember what I rolled. Was that a four? Uh, six, seven, eight. I'm going to give us the middle result here. <laughs> we take orders. This is the insect speaking again. We take orders from the true ruler of Renwood, King Rathex. He destroyed your precious tree and will dethrone your queen soon. He will overthrow the rule of you ugly beasts and restore what is rightfully ours. You don't deserve to live in this forest. You greedy animals have done nothing but take and destroy the world that we all live in. How dare we be sentenced to suffer in the ash lands where you rule in greed from your fat cushions. How dare we be sentenced to suffer in the ash lands well oh, that sentence is repeated. <laughs> he feels very strongly. Uh, okay, so... I'm not sure what we learned there. I think we already knew all that. But we got a foresight. No. What did we get? We got a warding ointment. All right. I don't <laughs> Well, there we go. Uh, we have a couple things to do here. We are poisoned still. So we need to do our constitution check. And we make it. So we do not take a point of damage from this poison that we are poisoned with. And, uh, and it is... This is Saturday and Sunday, so let's do the Sunday lottery. We are out here in the middle of nowhere. So amongst all this hullabaloo, where's my cards? Here's my cards to embrace the nonsensicalness of the Sunday lottery. Um, what happens? We need a D6. One. Um... <laughs> Something swoops in on magical hover boots. What is it? Three. An anthro... <laughs> okay. An anthropomorphic unicorn swoops in on magical hover boots. Five. Wearing a tiara and a silk sash with the words Sunday Lottery embroidered in gold. <laughs> and 
the unicorn has uh, a box with a slot in it. We can insert two amber, why not? And then open the box and see what's inside. And I believe, I believe we gained an amber or maybe two. Roll the four, gain two amber. So yeah, so inside are, is four amber. Excellent, so we gain two amber. We are up to uh, 22. And that, my friends, <laughs> is August 24th and 25th, such as it is. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you will join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>